Hey everybody, welcome back to another diecast review. As you can see, another uh, Mountain Dew scheme here. It's Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s 2008 Mountain Dew throwback, or old school meets new school, whatever they wanted to call that. Um, not really sure any other details besides that. Um, I've had this car in the past, I actually had it way back in the day. I got it really cheap and then um, I had to go to college, so a bunch of them got sold off. But I managed to find it again for 20 bucks, so pretty good. Uh, yeah, that's why. 42,000. <laughs> they made a ton of these. An absolute ton. Oh, yeah, box. Yeah. Uh, render of two cars. Old school, new school. Dale Jr. And that's about it. So, on to the die cast. There we go. Let's slide it over. So, this is a 2008. Chevy Impala COT. I love, love, love the COTs. Uh, this was NASCAR's 60th anniversary, which means that 2018 is their 70th anniversary, and it'll be 75 in 2023. So down the left side here, we got the nice uh, 88. This is a throwback to Daryl Waltrip's number 11 Mountain Dew uh, Chevy. We got that nice 88 looking there. Dale Jr. on the name rail. Uh, Mountain Dew there. Quaker State National Guard. National Guard here, and then we get it on the uh, side of the wing as well. One of the better parts of the COT was having that side of the wing sponsor. I thought that was cool. Give me a duel at oldschooldo.com. Oh. Old school or new. My bad, not old school do. I just read it quick. There we go. Fuel cell in there. Yeah, nice tight hinges. That's good. Down the right side, Mountain Dew, National Guard, number 88 there. Numbers leaning forward. Sprint Cup Series there, all that fun stuff. Over to the front, I loved, uh, the thing about the COT2 was you had the, the splitter with the spokes, individual little details there. You had a whole bunch of little details just all around the car, really. A um, little fiber on there. Get off of here. Uh, under the hood, that'll be the next one. So the hood doesn't sit perfectly flush. It's pretty darn close, though. So there's our engine detail, good engine detail, especially compared to what we're at now. Um, I think I'm going to try and do a video where I actually do an engine swap from an 06 to a 2013 or something. I've got a couple donor chassis that I'm going to play with. Um, so hopefully we can see what we can do, but maybe I can find a way to make some good detail out of our new chassis yet. But either way, we'll figure it out. Um, that's under the hood there. Uh, we got our window net, cab detail. We've got the steering wheel inside. Uh, roof flaps opening right there, radio up there in the front right of the car, and you can't really see inside, there's some extinguisher equipment and other things inside the cab. Uh, yeah, one of these days I'll take all, all these types of cars apart, and we can look inside the chassis and everything, and look at the internal detail, but otherwise you just assume it's all the same as every other car from the generation, but, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a really neat car. I mean, I, it goes great with the Gordon Pepsi throwback, the Challenger one, so, um, those two side by side is about per excuse me. Those two side by side is just about perfect. Um, and again, for twenty bucks, it's hard to argue. You know, ten bucks of that is shipping. So this is only about a twelve dollar car, according to whoever I bought it from. So um, yeah, <laughs> not gonna turn that deal uh, down. But yeah, I mean, it, it works great in my Mountain Dew collection. I love. I'm a huge fan of Mountain Dew. I just, I mean, like not of Mountain Dew racing or anything, just Mountain Dew. I drink a ton of it. I love that stuff. Um, it's a really, really nice, I don't know, it's my favorite drink, so. Uh, I'm going to have a whole Mountain Dew shelf uh, or display cabinet I'm going to try and put together. Um, hopefully it'll have Dale Jr., Casey Kane, Chase Elliott. There's a Brian Vickers Mountain Dew one I want to get. Uh, I'm not going to go too far as far as throwbacks. I'm going to do 2004 on up, uh, maybe 2002 uh, for the Mayfield and Atwood stuff, but I'm not going to go all the way back. Mostly because I um, wasn't alive. I didn't, you know, I, I, don't, I don't really care for cars that I don't know existed or that I never saw a race or anything. Uh, just because I never, you know, it's not a big deal to me. I mean, there's the Dodge Chargers I like because I like Dodge Chargers. Um, but outside of those, I got a bunch of Earnhardts and other ones that are probably not going to stay in the collection just because of, um, you know, I, I wasn't alive to see them run. So it's not. No story behind it that I can tell, so that's not that's kind of part of the thing I like about them. But, um, yeah, these COTs, look at that. When you get these suspensions lowered, they get lowered right down onto the ground, and they look good. So, yeah, if you've never lowered a COT, I don't know if I did a video of that or not. I might do that. Uh, let me know in the comments if uh, I should do a chassis lowering video. 
Um, and I'll show you how to lower each type of chassis from a 2000, 2006, I believe, can be lowered. I have to look. But the Gen 4, 5, and 6 cars, um, yeah, I can, I can definitely think I can lower those. So uh, let me know in the comments if you think that's a, something you'd want to see, if you'd want to see me lower some chassis and uh, get them right down on the ground or if that's uh, something you're interested in. Otherwise, leave a like, comment, um, all that other fun stuff. Make sure you subscribe to the channel by July 7th for the Diecast Giveaway. Uh, July 7th, 7.30 is the drawing, so make sure you hit that deadline. Um, you know, doesn't cost anything to subscribe, so, you know, go right ahead. But then, uh, yeah, so I'm going to be in Chicago all weekend this weekend, so I'm going to get some reviews out of the way. Um, they'll all probably get posted up Thursday night, and then uh, by Friday I will be on the road to Chicago. So uh, no videos this weekend most likely, but keep an eye open on Instagram, Race Craze on Instagram. I post a lot of videos, pictures, and stuff from the track, so... Uh, make sure to follow me over on that platform. But anyway, this has been Race Craze, and we will see you in the next video.